Welcome to Let's Talk About That, the show about the show. I'm Stevie, and banana juice isn't real. This week's guests are the Fine Brothers. Please welcome Rhett and Link. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. I didn't see you there. Did you see the Fine Brothers? I did see the Fine That's what I see when I look at you. Guess what? Today's episode is sponsored by Audible. It's football season and you've got a new favorite player to root for. It's John Cena in the Audible original comedy, 64th Man. After a promising college football career, this clear-eyed underdog tries to go big, but instead he goes home. Co-starring Anna Klumsky from HBO's Veep and an all-star cast of Saturday Night Live performers like Will Forte and Leslie Jones, 64th Man is like TV for your ears. Now I get it. Hear what happens when you're fourth and inches away from your dream, but the game clock is running out. Listen with a free 30-day trial. Just go to audible.com slash 64th. That's audible.com slash 64th. Woo! Well, there you Woo! Go. There you go. That's right. That's right, guys. Quite That's football plug. season. That's what I'm saying. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's also snowboarding season. Don't I look like a like a yeah. like Roxy snowboarder? Does Roxy do? I don't uh, even know. We yeah. should it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, I look yeah, like yeah. a snowboarder. Right. An you'd audible have like, you'd have like an energy drink at the bottom of the slopes. Yeah. Do they Hey okay. guys. Sure, I should start to get to know more about what yep. they do so that I can emulate it. You'd be popping a triple ventricle reverse bypass. Yes. Landing you just in a Red a bunch Bull of, can. Like surgery terms. Yeah. That's right. That um, also, snowboarding terms. This past week, mm -hmm. we celebrated Bleak Creek with a barbecue bonanza. Yeah, we did. And I have a little bit of that footage to show those that did not get to come to our barbecue bonanza. Uh, so we'll be doing that today. I also have a while the cameras were rolling clip from Will It Ramen that you're not going to want to miss. Uh, and. People have pets, and those pets have names. And some of those people's pets' names are also our names because they name their pets after us. I love it. It's an honor, so, except when the pets are ugly. Well, I hope these are all good-looking pets because we're going to go through them later in the show. But first, this week, we launched a hot dog into a bun. A bunch of hot dogs into a bun. Wasn't easy. I, I, you know, we did some launching of hot dogs and there were buns and then eventually they were caught by the buns. Yeah. Which is a great segue for today's um, uh, rejected snack. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen yep. this thing that is a hot dog and bun toaster? Nostalgia retro pop-up hot dog toaster. You In remember. order for something to be nostalgic, you have to have been familiar with it. In the past. In well, the past. and here's the connection, though. They it did. Look, it looks like a car from the 50s. Get a photo of me with the hot dog. From oh, my there it is. There's the nostalgia. Um, No, so I figured that we would try and use this thing because, hey, if we can find something, you know, usually it takes us so long to make our hot dog and, and bun situation. If we can find like a one-two punch, Link, you have a question. Excuse me, Stevie, yes. but I took three years of French and this side of the box says, Grill pain, retro port, chien show. And that means retro grill for cats and dogs. Does it really? Yes. No, it cannot. Chien. That is, is a dog, cat. but it has to be hot dog. No, no, no. This chien is a dog. Mm -hmm. So the show is a cat. Yeah, in France, all hot dogs are made from dogs and cats. <laughs> Can someone look that up, please? I don't know what show. Hot. It's hot. Okay. Look, they show. So. Now, you know what? That's a hot dog. Would you like this? No alarm. Well, we will not be making no need for cats alarm. and dogs. Here, one of you guys can also have this, but you don't need oh, to read it. You can, this is empty. I mean, you don't have to have read it out loud. I Just like read that. it to yourself. I'll tell you, cold buns May is a problem. The, um, the cold buns is a problem with hot dogs. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, you cold much. buns is a problem. Okay, so before me, we have... Fits hot dog thicker buns. hot dogs that plump. And? Wieners. Thank you. This will accommodate a thicker hot dog that plumps. Hold on, is that a retro pop-up hot dog toaster? And where guys, does the cat look, go? This makes four situations. I didn't wash my hands before, but I don't think yeah, I but really. The do. bacteria is going to be killed by the retro. Yeah. Cat cooker. Pop-up okay, hot dog toaster. So, uh, according to the manual, how do you open a hot dog bun? Uh, helpful tips. 
I think cat Do in not French is use chat. Jumbo size hot dogs or buns. <laughs> C H A T. <laughs> Although they may initially fit into the baskets, heating will cause them to swell and get stuck in the toaster. If hot dogs get stuck inside the hot dog baskets, you're screwed. Did I mess this up? I did. This is this is a problem, and we need to talk about how I can't open hot dog buns. This is something I'm discovering about myself. I don't myself. think you have to open them. Or no, no, no. You do. Oh, you do? Because you they're like oh, a, oh, yeah. a crescent. You have the manual. God. If the machine is burning or smoking during cooking, press the stop button. What the heck? You can't open a hot dog bun? Well, here's the thing. Do you think... No, you're going to know the answer to it. I'm not going to say it. I would think that the ends that are kissing each other would be the ends that you open. And I do not mean that in any other way other than talking about these buns. But it's not that. That's oh, not the open part. Isn't that strange? Not really. Okay. Okay, I have put the buns in. Link, see if you can tell me what I'm saying. Ne pas touche à services. <laughs> Don't drink beer. <laughs> ne pas. Ne pas touche à services. <laughs> Shows. <laughs> Utiliser. Never, never <laughs> place on a hot surface. Pour ne ou les boutons. Never place on a hot surface, especially when you're throwing a baton. I can't say surfaces without having a Spanish accent. Surfaces. Are you guys ready? <laughs> For the big moment. Surfaces. 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 Here we go. Oh, do I need to put it on a certain setting? What what number? We we gotta go. Hot, all the way. Go big. Go home. No, we're not going all the way. We have to go to three. Okay, going to three. Thank you. Hold on. A lot of those buns did. <laughs> Get in there. There's a there's a picture of a woman doing what you're doing, and it has a big X through it. Okay, I have some. Don't right pass the buns. Uh, okay, these are the reviews that, according to David, are the the best. All right, well, we'll, we'll be the judge of that, David. Is the existence? Oh, these are question answers. Sorry, is the existence of this product proof that America has run out of problems? No, it's proof that America has run out of easy answers and just wants to play with toys, or possibly proof that nobody knows what to get mom for her birthday. David, did you find that to be helpful or funny? I honestly just picked the top three uh -huh. on a page. Okay. Fine. All right, Will so. it do bratwurst as well? I don't think so, due to their curve and size. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't think so either. It cooks four delicious hot dogs at once. What if you can't afford delicious hot dogs? Will it cook crappy hot dogs? Uh, that's that's not funny, David. I am sure that it will cook crappy hot dogs as poorly as it cooks delicious ones. Don't waste your money. This seems like a really weird bedtime story. Like you could just like pick product. I'm, uh, I'm definitely sleepy. And and <laughs> I'm definitely sleepy. <laughs> this smells like burning plastic. Yeah, um, that, that's that's what you want. That's there's a want. recipe section of the manual, and, and it's two bullet points. The first hot bullet, dogs. And first hot dogs. First bullet point says a variety of regular size hot dogs: beef, turkey, veggie, or chicken. That's all it says. That's not really a recipe. Second <laughs> bullet says, after cooking hot dogs, use toppings such as relish, diced tomatoes. That's a recipe. Onions, cheese, guacamole, bacon, or chili. Mm -hmm. That's the recipe section. Does right it say there. anything about the surfaces? <laughs> uh, no, it says nothing about the surfaces. <laughs> let's just, let's just clock wipe. <laughs> ah! Woo! It's it done! popped up! We don't have any of the recipe do we have recipe situations? We do. We have two oh, recipes. You're talking about Thank you, hot we have, dog recipes no, in the house. No, I'm talking about recipes. We have a ketchup recipe and we have a mustard recipe. And you know what? There's a ketchup and mustard recipe that I heard about one time. You guys, don't fret. It just smells like burning plastic. It's probably Is there like fine. a part that you didn't take out? Well, that is very likely. Yeah. Don't worry. Move that ketchup. It's fine. What do you guys want, recipe-wise? I just put mustard, straight mustard, nothing else. Okay, I'm sure it'll make it taste delicious. Here's your dog. No, oh, thank you. Ooh, that, that's a toasty bun. I gotta say... I, I know, toasty buns is a problem when you don't have them. I would go to a five, not a three. It's interesting that like the taste. hot dog is so much hotter than the bun. They've really thought of everything. Look at that, make it look like the commercial. The commercial? <laughs> what commercial? 
The little girl's hot dog on there. Oh. Look at that. Nick it. May I have some mustard, please? Oh. Okay. I'm you were a, ca- a ketchup from my girl. Dreams. I am not a ketchup girl, please. Mmm. Touchdown. Get right out on there. That's a well cooked hot dog. Tastes like a three out of five. Mmm. I'm gonna push my dog closer to that. I don't like a lot of bun. Legit, oh. legit analysis here. Break it if you don't want to eat the whole hot dog and see if it's cold in the middle. It's not. It's not. But I would have preferred a five. Honestly? I didn't have it's any. It's not bad. I didn't have any hope in uh That's not bad. When you're having a party in which you eat hot dogs, but you want to get them done quick and have them taste just okay. Throw them all in the well, microwave. No, if you want to have four. I was yeah. gonna take another bite. If you're having a party that includes you and three other people. And I'll you want to get hot dogs done in a retro kind of way? I'll First of all, that right that's there. not a party. There you that's go. That's a get together. Okay. Um, speaking of products. How many people are in your party, sir? Four. Speaking of parties. Smoking or none? None. Speaking of party products, have you guys been to mythical.store lately? I'll tell you, whenever I'm throwing a party, mm-hmm. I always like to send people to mythical.com just to buy merch from me <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, yeah, for your registry. But you don't tell parties. them that it's your site. I usually go to the site and I'm like, I found this new site. I get so much stuff from this. Like mythical.com, like they got the what coolest is things. This typing? Yeah. <laughs> this is me trying to cover up the fact that I'm promoting my own store. I have a big laptop. Okay, listen, okay. If you want me to be honest about I this, big I have a big laptop at home that I break out for parties and it just has a, big a space bar and an inner key. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Simon. But with two buttons. <laughs> yeah. And I space and I enter. Space and I enter. And um, I buy everything. Well, if you haven't myself. been to mythical.com lately, I highly suggest that you go this Friday because it's our Black Friday sale. And we're bringing back, back a bunch of designs in new, like, black designs. Like, black and... Is it, it like looks, what you might have on? Um, This is an item that you may get for sale on a, a mythical.com. I don't know. You have to go over there and check it out. But we have up to 40%, 40% off on certain things. Off. But I meant like some of your favorite shirts from the past are coming back, but with a new cool black design. So if you didn't get the color that you wanted and the color happened to be black the first time, surprise. It is. Yeah. It's, you know what it's, I'm saying? It's amazing. If you it's love it, you'll love it more well. when it's black. Did you guys know it's football 40% season? 40% off. It's like a party with four people is really how I think of our website. Mm. Um, let me tell you what wasn't a party with four people. The Bleak Creek Barbecue Bonanza. And I have the footage to prove it. Welcome to Mythical. You guys excited for the barbecue bonanza? Yes, we're hungry. <laughs> okay, so then I, I think I'm just gonna take you right out. Well, let's, let's do this thing. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Awesome, let's go. All right. You're here, you made it! Yeah. Welcome to our pig picking in the back lot. You hungry? Oh, we are. We're gonna hang out and play some games. We got cornhole, we got bowling. So come on over, you can meet members of the, uh, the mythical crew. Uh, Jacob, nice to meet you. <laughs> Brian Brown. I feel like we're all paying respects for like a mafia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Well, it's like, it's really easy. It just lasts. It just lasts. Just lasts. Just lasts. Yeah. Well, it was going to get there if you had to let go of it. Now this is a party, you know? <laughs> the rope and steer is something that I never did back in North Carolina. But. You gotta just yank it. On top. Okay. Done yet. Can you put it on top? 
I hate getting brought in at this point in the process. <laughs> this is the hardest game in the world. Zero made shot. <laughs> So you guys get to eat first, and that's why we're hanging out with you. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with going ahead and eating in line. If you're already eating in line, that means you get to go through the line again earlier. Wait, that's if you don't be wet, wife. You're not doing it right. Woo! Sauce up that pork. Look at that. Wow. Can I grab one of them bones to non? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. How do I want? Want We used to do this to signify momentous moments in our lives. So we thought, what better way to signify the completion of the Lost Causes of Bleak Creek, then inviting a couple people who bought the book. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you all for your support. <laughs> support! Oh, support. Pigs and novels, and it being 80 degrees <laughs> in Los Angeles. That was fun. And special. Fun and special, yeah. Both I would describe things. it that way as I well. I mean, and not just because mounds of barbecue were involved. I mean, it was nice for all of us to get together and, yeah, you know, um, the way we went around and said how thankful we were for each other. <laughs> that part wasn't in there, but we also did that. Yeah, everyone we had we had uh, yeah. a lot of eye gazing. Yep. You partner gazing. up and you just stare into someone's eyes for a little while. Yeah. yeah, we also didn't include that. Yeah, that didn't make it in though. That that was that's on the cutting room floor. And the hot yoga part too. We also took that out. I tweeted. This is what I tweeted. Do you have pets named after Renton Lake or pets named after me or other mythical crew? Send me pics for hashtag #LTAT. We'll also accept babies, cars, and the like. Photos, not the actual things. Ain't got time for that. Got a little humor in your tweet. Um, it's good to have a little humor when there's a call to action. And when you're on Twitter, we got a lot of uh, lovely is a, submissions. Is that a, is that a critique Link. of my tweets? It was not, but it could be. Yeah, it is now. Touche. We got a lot of lovely submissions. We got a lot of cute animals. We got a, a lot of dogs and cats and bunnies. We got a lot of babies. I felt weird about babies being I didn't put the babies Babies here. named after us? Yeah, ba babies named after all of us. As long as I'm not paying child support. Um, but if you want to see all that cuddly cuteness, go over to Twitter and, and check out that thread. Today, I'm, I mean, on the show, you know, I don't just go for the cuddly cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose one photo that I feel like represents that. Um, and this is, this person said, this is our dog Chase, and I mean, oh, that's a cute dog. It's there, wow. there's enough cuteness does in that one does he dress photo. Himself? Um, His Chase, eyes look fake. Chase saw this photo and commented that he was bummed he was no longer the cutest Chase in the world. Mm. Ha! True. So, That's for sure. Yeah. Pink sweater girl. This one is, uh, I, I chose interesting ones for us. Like I went, okay. this is this is the dog cat. Now I'm going to interesting. So this one is, um, this is for Rhett. Just says this is Rhett. A squirrel. It's a squirrel. Oh, the cage? A look squirrel. at that snake. My God, get away from that roast. Oh my God. <laughs> That's get okay. it away, my God. Um this one is looking right um, at the camera. Yeah. This is Link's, That's what we do. We look right at the camera, us rets. Link's unique animal. It says this is Lincoln Link Link, the leopard gecko. Blip. Named after Link Neil himself. Wow. I got a gecko named after me. That's some nice furniture that thing. Walking on. on pearls. What is that is some <laughs> My geckos ornate. only walk on pond pearls. Pretty good. Um, this one says, 
This is Stevie Smiley Face. <laughs> That's right. Is that a look at my belly? Is that a guinea pig or a hamster? No, or... it's a hamster. It's a female. Yeah, they're I'll take it. And they're trying to prove that. I'll take it. This dog is um, just named Willet Taco. So I <laughs> what? That, I don't believe. And he that. looks like he knows it. <laughs> Listen, he goes by Will for short. He goes. Mm-hmm. To, he he goes to the to the day doggy daycare. Like, what's your name? Will Willet Taco. taco. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> um, this one I found interesting. It says, this was our hen named Rhett. She had a sister named Link that didn't have a beard. And the most interesting part for me was that everything was in the past tense. Yeah, it seems like they ate Link. Yeah. Well, yeah, well hens don't last long. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. And if it was a good meal, I'm happy for you. <laughs> okay. Of course. Um, name, if I had a pet hen, I'd name it Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, of course, I did say cars, and here's a car named Link. And they said they named it Link because even though things may not always be completely right under the hood, it's still loyal and reliable. That should make you feel good. So after discovering that your car wasn't right under the hood, you named it after me. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, it, it it only gets weirder from there oh, um, because technically, I guess this is a pet, uh, a, a Minecraft horse named Josh. Now, how do we know um, that's named after our mythical chef Josh? Well, they said it was, and we have to take their word right. for it. Says Josh right there. Well, and it looks just like it. It does. It does. <laughs> this is uh, M- Mike, our former mythical crew member. I think that's who they're referencing uh, for this this uh, next one, which is a origami frog. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Hi, I'm Mike. This I feel seems like, like he would like that. Might have done this in response to your tweet. I, you know what? I filtered through a lot of those, and there was one person that pulled a stock image off of Google, and they got theirs from the other mythical beasts. Oosh. And I believe origami frog Mike. You think um, this has been Mike all along? I think it's been Mike, Mike for all how many years? Along. Do you think this Mike's been around? I'll ask. I'll tweet back. Okay. Um, then, then if that wasn't loose enough for you, then you we don't got work real here anymore. Loose. By the um, way. This person says, "I did have." Little tiny racers named after Chase, Jen, Alex, and you, Stevie. I even drew little happy faces on them. Sadly, they got lost, and I don't have pictures. So really, I am accepting like any, any, anyone who, again. But I believe this. I believe this person without the photos That's and sad. the erasers. The bar is low. There's four erasers out there named after you guys. Yeah. Just lost around, somewhere. Yeah, they're probably not wandering. They're probably stationary. They're probably deep under a pile of other trash yeah. in some landfill that's just giving off noxious fumes. Yeah. That's real sad. Well, I wish you hadn't brought that up. That's ruined <sighs> my day. It could have been rubbed into oblivion in order to remove errors. Um, well, we're, we're gonna go from sad to creepy because um, then I got this photo. When I get a new knife, I name it after the crew. They are trustworthy and my means of creativity in order Rhett, Josh, Link, safest jen john emily jordan ellie morgan dana chase and mike the sharpener is stevie keeps them growing strong oh, but wow. then i realized they're chef's knives chef 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 so, that knife on the end is so big it's got a handle at the top yeah that's it's hard i'm hard to handle man <laughs> you got to grab me from both sides if you want to hold on um but i do hope this is the last photo of knives and my replies then Then I actually got really creeped out. (laughs) This person says, I have a lipstick named after Link slash Lincoln because it's in the shade of Link's nipples in development. Does it count? She's a rosy mid-tone nude lippy lipstick emoji. In development? And I think she meant the lipstick was in development, not Link's nipples in development. I was about to say, did your nipples change color during puberty? They are fully (laughs) developed. I can tell you that. (laughs) Um, Then, of course, they reply to their own tweet. By the way, it would help my makeup lab a lot if I could get a close-up of the nipples in natural lighting to get the exact color because the screenshots I got from GMM are not true to color due to the filters slash studio lighting. 
And then someone replies, yes, hello, 911. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, then they say, you'd better call the UN because I don't live in the US. I don't, I don't think that's how that works. So I don't think the UN is going to do anything about this situation. Right. But 911, it wouldn't do anything. You're no. Right, you're right. Outside of the jurisdiction. You got enough pictures of my nipples. Just send her one. <laughs> okay. I'll have yeah. to see if there's any in natural lighting because yeah, you know right, yeah. the Fully kind of lighting that we like to we like to use natural for your nipple lighting. shots. Um, speaking of nipple shots, <laughs> this week on Will It Ramen, we did a ramen bath bomb, and it took a while for that bath bomb to bomb. Yeah. So during that time, you had a little conversation. Maybe nipples were involved. I don't know. It is solid. Oh, yeah. God. It's solid all the Here way through. And then we just give it some time, I guess. It's fizzing like crazy. Just like my baths. What on earth? That's from the baking soda, I guess. Or yeah. is it? Well, I've never seen that happen with noodles. <laughs> wow. How often do you take baths? Um, I'll take a, I take a bath probably twice a quarter. Wow. Yeah, how about you? You can't fit in a tub. That doesn't stop me. <laughs> uh, you just hang half of you out? I'd say about once a quarter. You deserve it. I'd, I'd say four to six baths a year. Now, I, you're right, I don't fit in a bath, but sometimes I'm like, I wanna surround myself with hot water and it's nice. I, play, I have play my some, knees up next to my ears. I play some music. I have a, a big picture window beside my bathtub, and if I, to get in the bathtub, of course I'm completely naked. Like, the neighbor who I look at from my window in my shower, like I talked about on Ear Biscuits, um, he can see my entire naked body getting in the bathtub. Like, the, the window goes from below the bathtub to way above it, but once I'm in the bathtub, Hold then on, I can see You have another everything. window? You got the window in the shower. And then I got one beside the bathtub too. Does it does it also have no shutters on it and no no? Curtain? It has a blind, but I have to open the blind so that I can see the landscape when I'm bathing. You can't reach the curtain from. I can the watch bath. the sunset from my from my bathtub. Can you? But reach my the curtain neighbors from the can bath? watch me watching the sunset from my bathtub. Can you reach the curtain from the bath? I don't have a curtain. Can you reach the blinds from the bath? Or is it, oh yeah, you can't. No. You, have to, well, you can stand up, but then you've, you've blown your cover. I have an electronic um, blind, and it when I push a button by the door where the light switch is, the blinds will either close or open. And so I have to, I push the button, and it, and it opens the curtain, and I have to run while naked, get in the tub before the blinds go all the way up. So what my about, neighbor doesn't what see about me. a remote control situation? Um, I didn't buy that. Model. Hey, you guys want to flip the bath bomb? Let's oh, you want to flip, flip it? Okay. Yeah, give it a little flip. Like no, a flip thick, the thick thick bath spoon, bomb. We got. Hands. It smells amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these two as tongs. Oh, whoa! Look at that. Look at this. It's really, it's really starting to expose itself. Kind of like me to my neighbor in my bathtub. <laughs> See, now if I'm in the bathtub, I'm like, I'm moving it around. You're moving what around? <laughs> My body. Making sure I get do you, full do, coverage. Do you do bubble baths? Do you do bath bombs? Do you, do you, do you spice it up in any way? Um, I make bubbles. My bathtub is so small and I'm so big that I put like an inch and a half of water in there before I get in. And, and it just kind of just goes up around me. Uh, and it gets cold so quick because there's no volume to the water. Oh, you know the trick to that? You open the drain, you just keep adding hot water. Make it like a make it like a flow. I turn the shower on to do that. I sit in the water and I open the drain, but I plug it with my heels so I can control how yeah. much is leaving. And then the shower is coming down on me, and then that replenishes the hot water. Guys, what about water conservation? What about it? Well, yeah, I do that when I'm, I only do it w twice a quarter. And when I shower, I turn the water off when I'm scrubbing. So it all evens out. I don't shower before work to save water. We know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all that, I'm waiting for a bath bomb. Yeah, we, yeah. we talk a lot about your, um, 
bathroom, bathroom experience. You should all come over. Oof. No, thank you. And with that, our final line. <laughs> Until, Until next, LTAT. Keep, keep on BYMB. B-Y-M-B. B-Y-M-B.